Welcome to PLSQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about a dynamic wizards type called weak ref wizard. So as you know that uh, when you are going for wizards, there are different wizards uh, in PLSQL. A default uh, system wizards are implicit wizards, and when you are going for explicit wizards, and there are two types: uh, one with the dynamic wizards, another one is user specific. So user specific means so you can create a cursor area and you can select the data and you can process the data and you can close the cursor. So that is user cursors. Okay, but you're talking about a dynamic cursors here. So dynamic cursors are mainly we are passing the query runtime. We are passing the query runtime that is called a dynamic cursors using ref cursor variable using ref cursor type. So for this, what we have to do, we need to create a first type. That is ref cursor type we need to create, and for that we need to create a reference variable. That variable we can use for assigning your query at runtime. So what is the difference between your normal cursors, explicit cursors, and dynamic cursors means? So your explicit cursors, when you are opening your cursor, what will happen? It will uh, open a cursor area and it will fetch the data from your database and it will store into your cursor area. But dynamic cursors, what will happen? It won't store any data. So when you are opening a cursor here, means when you are reading data from your database table, directly it will go to your physical storage location and it will fetch the data. That is the concept of dynamic cursor. That is ref cursor. And there is another type called a sysref cursor that I will explain later. Okay. So there are two types in uh, ref cursors: strong and weak. Strong means if you are using a returning, that is a return, return a specific to a particular table. So there you have to use fixed table actually. But if you are going for weak ref cursor, you can use any query. That is, it is not fixed actually. But if you are going for strong ref cursor, that is a fixed. We can't uh, specific to. We have to declare row type. But uh, here without a row a type or a type. So we can use that is weak ref cursor. Uh, see the syntax here. Type type name. You can use any user defined name. Is ref cursor is a keyword. Okay, this is the type we are creating. You can see the example here. I'm creating a employee cursor and I'm creating variable for this type. This is my ref cursor variable. Then I'm creating another record type that is a row type. I'm creating to store all this data. So open. I'm opening my cursor. Using a for class, you can see here I'm passing my query. So you can pass any query here. You can pass any query here. Then I'm starting a loop or fetching data from my cursor and uh, storing it to my record type here. You can see. So this is the way we can go for using a ref cursor. Okay, you can run this. Let's connect to the database. So now we can see the data. So first we need to say the set server output on. Now you can see this is uh, my table data which is available. I'm printing like this. So this is the way we can go for using ref cursor type. Ref cursor type that we will call as dynamic cursor. So dynamic cursor means. So whenever you are reading the data, at that time only it will go to your database, physical storage location, and it will fetch the data. But normal cursors means actually is cursors. So when you are opening a cursor, what will happen? It will open some cursor area and it will fetch the data and it will store there. Then it will process the data from your cursor area. So that is the concept of uh, cursors. But here ref cursor is mainly runtime. Runtime means when you are reading the data, at that time only it will go to your database and it will fetch the data. So that is. So here the advantage you can pass any query here. You can change. You can declare a type and you can change anything in PLSQL block or procedure or function or package. Package also we can declare this ref cursors. This advantage uh, ref cursors package specification package body. So this is the major advantage is for dynamic cursor. So thank you for watching my video. So please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel. Thank you very much.